Hey guys, welcome back to the arena. And if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate you. And if you do like my content, please consider subscribing and maybe sharing it with a friend of yours. For my returning viewers, thank you guys so much again for coming back. I really appreciate you. Um, so we're going to be getting into some ladder grinding here with the Mono White Tokens deck. It is starting to move in the right direction. I think we're up to Platinum 3, so I've just been having a lot of fun here kind of grinding with it. I do like the new build as of the, the last version. So no changes here since yesterday, but uh, yeah, we'll get into it. Um, for my members, thank you guys so much again for your support. And um, if you'd like to become a member for as little as $1.99 a month, you can get early access to my content. And here's exactly how to do that. If you would like to become a member and help support my channel, you can do so. Just click on the join button right next to where it says subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Um, or if you would like to just support my channel just on a one-time basis, you can also click the super thanks button uh, here right on the, uh, also right under the banner here for the video. So these are both great ways to support the channel. I really appreciate you guys and I couldn't do this without you. So thank you guys so much again for your consideration. All right, let's get into some games. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into some games. Um, I do have in the description a link for the playlist. So if you wanna go all the way back to the first video, I kinda of go over sort of how the deck works. Um, and then also, I also have uh, links to the deck list, both in untapped.gg and moxfield.com. But yeah, I really like uh, <clears throat> kind of the changes where I've uh, sort of lowered the lowered the overall cost of the deck a little bit. Now with 16 one drops, feels pretty good. Okay, opening hand looks great. And if you have, you know, one of the different um, one drops in your opener, usually Season Warren Guard is the one you want to start out with most often, just because it has the highest upside. Probably after that, uh, Warden of the Inner Sky, and then um, just obviously depending on like if you have token makers in your hand and all that. But yeah, here we can go for reinforcements, push an extra two damage, or we could just set up for the next turn. And I kind of think setting up here is maybe a little better. Like we miss a couple points of damage, but we get, um, <clears throat> you know, future damage here potentially from this other Warren Guard. So I think we're just going to Go ahead and just get in for one. And then just plan to do like hop to it next turn. So now we can go reinforcements plus officer. Um, set up with the tokens here and then push in for a little bit of damage. Okay, so now probably need to start searching here with Recruitment Officer. <clears throat> They've got a pretty decent board here, so can't really push through it just yet. So I think we're just gonna set up for Officer here.
Okay, I guess we can pick up another Warren Guard. Um, so now I think Warren Guard plus Hop to it <clears throat> is a little bit better than Officer. Just keep kind of building a big board. Yeah, they're kind of doing <clears throat> what we're doing here, but just a little bit better with since they've got the Lord. I don't know how how big or how um, prevalent this deck is. I haven't seen it actually that much. Warden gives us another angle of attack though, which feels really good. So we'll see if we get Warden going here a little bit. Do you have to be a little bit careful so they don't Alpha Strike us? Yeah, I don't think we can... <clears throat> Let's see if they send with everybody. I think we got to leave everything else back here. So I think we just sit with this. Especially with the Trampler here. Yeah, I suppose last turn we could have uh, popped the, the clue and then tried to go for Knight Errant, but I was afraid of this Alpha Strike. Yeah, this might just be it right here. We had a nice uh, little bit in the early game, but I think that might, this might be lethal. Let's see, we've got 11 points there. Yeah, we're, we're just dead here, unfortunately. Tough beat. <clears throat> Not sure if I could have played that slightly differently, but I think we kind of just sort of got out uh, outgunned on all the creatures. This opener looks okay. Like no one drop, but we have a decent chance to draw into one. Roughly one in four chance of drawing a one drop. Okay, maybe it's just going to be back-to-back -back, uh, rabbit decks here. At least now we've got case, so we can do a little bit of a setup. I don't think we trade here. I think we just take it and then use case to race. Yeah, 
Yeah, not a huge fan of the recruit. Um, I suppose we could also just go for like evangelist here. We could also do invasion. I guess they can make this a two-two, right? If we do for if we go for case, so they eat one of our guys, we get rid of their recruit. Oh wait a second, this would double trigger, so that's pretty nasty. So we could go invasion plus recruitment officer. Yeah, I kind of like that actually. Got a great hand. I mean, if they tap out for Night Errant here, we can just push a fair amount of damage. And like their crackback, what have they got? Quest Caller. So they'd be hitting us for, let's see, four, seven, nine, 12, 14, 18. But we'd have like the evangelist token. I think we just push through it, honestly. I guess we could also case to get rid of the Knight Errant, but they can make it a six power, I think. So that's pretty bad. Yeah, I think we just push. Trying to set up a lethal attack for next turn. Yeah, we, we, I think we just need to take it here. Could also block with Evangelist to get more of our um, bat tokens in the air. That's actually kind of a path, maybe. Otherwise, like if we attack next turn, we're pumping these to four power. I guess that that fights through their knight errant, so. But then we do take four damage. Like if we block here, we stay at 17, we can attack for two, get them down to four, and then have some blockers. This is a little bit unorthodox, but I think this might be the play. Keep our life total high. We could also case and um, like 
not. I suppose, yeah, we have to pick a target. So I think we just push in the air with both of these and see if we have th four blockers on the ground. We should be able to live through it. And then just use the light shield array to keep our guys alive. So let's block here. Definitely want to take these out. And then just soak up as much damage as possible. So we're still taking three, six, nine. Now we can just use our light shield array. Yeah, flyover for the win. Close one. All right, opening hand looks great. Against blue-white, let's lead out here with recruitment officer, just for the extra damage. Okay, this could be Jeskai um, Convoke, possibly, or maybe like Jeskai Control. Yep, Jeskai Convoke. Okay, I walked into it, unfortunately. Yeah, that was a very nice pickup. to it another nice pickup we can double case here though that feels really good
And that should do it. Let's see, attack with everything. I guess they can block one of the three ones. And then we push, push 10. I suppose actually we can get this thing into the air too. Play super conservative here. They need to like draw into, yeah, that's gonna do it. I guess they could draw into the, um... oh, what's the name of it? The spell that destroys an artifact, gets three tokens going. They, if they could draw into that, potentially they could get there. Yeah, overall really happy with the deck. Went two and one, and then let's take a look at the overall stats. All right, overall, the deck is doing really well. 66% win rate, 73% um, win rate on the play, and then 61% on the draw. So overall, there have been 33 wins and 17 losses. So yeah, very happy with it. Um, notably, the most recent version of the deck is 80% win rate uh, with eight wins and two losses. Part of the reason for that, I think, is just removing the virtue of loyalty and then bringing in the extra one drop and the invasion of Goba Khan which have done pretty well. But yeah, as a whole, the deck is 66% win rate. So uh, we'll see you for the next one. Thanks guys for watching and have a great rest of your day. Mm -hmm.